Yo, deep fake video, Rob. Back again, yo. Like I, I've been seeing a lot of TIs and and gang stalking information out there, but I just really want to hit you guys with the facts on how this proxy gang stalking works. Um, it was utilized in Germany with the Stasis. Um, it is a r ritual. Sorry about that. Uh, a ritual tactic. It has. Um, it has a background in um, certain occults and they pass this technique down to certain military aspects. But let me show you how it works. Deep back, I'm going to give you the facts over here. I do my research before I record anything. Do you feel me? And I'm the author of Malignant Self Love, Narcissism Revisited. If all else fails, the abuser recruits friends, colleagues, mates, family members, the authorities, institutions, neighbors, the media, teachers, in other words, third parties, to do his bidding. The abuser uses them to cajole, coerce, threaten, stalk, offer, retreat, tempt, seduce, harass, communicate, or otherwise manipulate his target. The abuser controls these unaware instruments exactly as he plans to control his ultimate prey. In both cases, he employs the same mechanisms and the same devices. And he dumps his props unceremoniously when the job is done. One form of control by proxy is to engineer situations in which abuse is inflicted on third another person. Such carefully crafted scenarios of embarrassment and humiliation are meant to provoke social sanctions, condemnation, opprobrium, or even physical punishment against the victim. Society. This is called social engineering. Look these words up. I'm giving y'all facts. The social group, in this case, become the instruments of the abuser against the victim. Abusers often use other people to do their dirty work for them. These, sometimes unwitting accomplices, belong to three groups. The first group is the abuser's social milieu. Some offenders, mainly in patriarchal and misogynist societies, co-opt family members, friends and colleagues into aiding and abetting their abusive conduct. In extreme cases, the victim is held hostage, isolated and with little or no access to funds or transportation. Often the couple- Remember when I told you they were sabotaging my car? Certain jobs, job mob. Like, I'm not making this stuff up. This is what's going on. This is social engineering. This is a real thing. These are companies. These are entities that do this for a living. Plus children are used as bargaining chips or leverage in such a dispute. Ambient abuse by the abuser's clan, kin, kith, or village, or neighborhood is rampant. The second group of witting or unwitting accomplices is the victim's social milieu. Even the victim's relatives, his uh, family members, his friends, his colleagues, they are all amenable to the considerable charm, persuasiveness and manipulativeness of the abuser and to his impressive thespian acting skills. The abuser offers a plausible rendition of the events and interprets these events to his favor. Others rarely have a chance to witness an abusive exchange firsthand and at close quarters so as to discern between abuser and victim. In contrast, the victims are often on the verge of a nervous breakdown. They are harassed, uncum, unkempt, irritable, impatient, abrasive, and hysterical. Confronted with this contrast between a polished, self-controlled and suave abuser and his harried casualties, it is easy to reach the wrong, wrong conclusion that the real victim is the abuser. Or another conclusion, that both parties are abusing each other similarly and equally. The praise acts of self-defense, assertiveness, or insistence on her rights are interpreted as aggression, lability, or a mental health problem. Thus we come to the now do you hear the way they play you you're just trying to protect yourself but you're being harassed by third-party proxy this is where you get a lot of that uh 
what do they call that again? Uh, um, the mass shootings. It's staged. This is a technique that is being done. A third group of accomplices and collaborators, aiders and abettors, the system. The abuser perverts the system. Therapists, marriage counselors, mediators, court appointed guardians, police officers, judges, they all end up upholding the abuser's version and helping him in further abusing his victims. The abuser uses them to pathologize the victim to separate her from her source, sources of emotional sustenance, notably from her children, and then from her family, and then from her friends and colleagues. Forms of abuse by proxy include socially isolating and ex excluding the victim by discrediting her through a campaign of malicious rumors, a smear campaign. Stop again with the propaganda. They like to use little kids. They like to, whatever they can use to smear you, they're going to use it and then post it all over social media. Remember, they have paid agents, snitches, informants. These people get a government check or some just get time reduced or even both. Or cars, houses, whatever. Harassing the victim by using others to stalk her or by charging, charging her with offenses she did not commit, provoking the victim into aggressive or even antisocial conduct by having others threaten her or her loved ones, colluding with others. Remember what I said, they blackmail them. These people will go after your family behind your back and blackmail kids, their kids, their grandkids. This is the way this works. Deep fake. Yup, roger that.